All right, here we are, we're back. Just made it to 70th level. Now, you could do it a lot faster, a lot faster, by going into multiplayer rifting with uber players, players that are really high level, and just leeching off of them. You could probably get it done at most in a half hour. You could probably get it done in 20 minutes. All you gotta do is follow them around while they kill things, and you'll get up to 70th level. But if you're trying to do it by yourself, maybe you'd prefer to do it by yourself, or maybe you got no one you want to play with, or maybe you, you know, for whatever reason you want to do it solo. This method was was pretty much the the most efficient method I found to do it. I say you could probably do it in about. Um, <coughs> Three and a half hours. I, it took me four and a half hours because I was not doing it maybe as efficiently, making videos and explaining things. But if you just go, 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 probably three and a half game hours is probably what you can do it in. Some players say they can get it done in three. Okay, you probably can. Um, so, you know, you make your character. That's the very first thing. Make your character. Don't forget that. Make your se I'm sorry, seasonal character. Get your pet. Get your follower. Then do your challenge rift. Okay, uh, I don't know why. Someone said avoid unity if possible, but you can't avoid it. If you've got unity, you've got it, and there's nothing else you can, nothing you can do about it. So I don't know, let me, just, let me just get rid of this. I don't know why I have this here. Some people, and once you get your challenge rift done, you'll get your treasure chest. Some people don't open it until later. I say just open it. Open it and spend all the stuff. Get the Kanai Cube. Get your followers, I mean, your uh, your artisans up to maximum level, which is 12th. <laughs> Get Kanai Cube. Kanai's Cube. Um, and then you're going to use your crafting materials to craft an item, a rare item. Upgrade it to legendary. And then put that legendary item in your cube. And then you will have a bonus from your cube right uh, from the very beginning. And there is, there's different ones give you better chance of getting something good. The last thing that you want to do is to um, craft a rare item and upgrade it to something that isn't going to be of any value to you in the cube. Uh, so you wouldn't want to do, let's say, a helm, because you might get some helm that doesn't do anything, uh, or at least just does very little. Uh, or same thing with chest armor. There's tons of chest armors out there, legendary chest armors, that not only are they not useful, but they don't have any real use in your cube. So you don't want to do anything like that. So make sure, and you can look them up on, on uh, different, different websites. You can find out there's a list that they have of what the best ones are. I think the one for the wizard, the best one was the um, one-handed wand. The one for the necromancer is a two-handed Sith. So it's different ones. Then you just put it in your cube. And after that, someone said put it on master difficulty. I thought master difficulty was too easy. And you don't get enough for it. Uh, you can go after your first boss, Bounty. To get some good rare items to start off with. And then here's another thing they said. Lower the difficulty to hard. I didn't like it on hard. Um, but whatever. You know, you, you might find it better to do it that way. I, I had mine, I think, on Torment 1 or, or Master the whole time. Uh, try and get a helm with a socket in it to put a ruby in. Um, I was kind of lucky I got Leoric's helm right off the bat. pretty So I had double the experience points that the ruby gave. At level 8, craft a two-handed axe or bow. Those are usually the two-handed axes are usually the best ones that they, they recommend. And recraft one every five or six levels, whatever it gives you in there, whatever it says in there, whatever level uh, requirements they have, if you have to. I, I only had to craft uh, once or twice. I kept on finding good ones. Uh, at 10th through 15th level, that's when you can start purchasing rings and amulets from the vendor, so you want to get those. And, you know, when it comes to gaining your levels and you start, you start adventuring, 
Some people prefer to do get the massacre bonuses from Halls of Agony, Fields of Misery. Other people prefer Nephilim Rifts. I think that's just going to be personal preference. I think for me, it appeared as though the Halls of Agony, Fields of Misery with massacre bonuses gives better experience points, but the Nephilim Rifts gives you better items, gives you lots more, uh, lots more drops. So, yeah. You know, it's a toss-up. Maybe do a few of each. Maybe do regular rifts to gain uh, some items and then go back and forth. I don't know. I don't know. <coughs> Level 24, um, these sets potentially become available. I didn't get them. I didn't get either one of them. And then the, other, the final big thing is at 40th level, craft a 70th level two-handed weapon. Reduce the level requirement of it. Buy as much as you can, as much as you ever want to do. I, I was lucky I got 26 levels lower. So I was able to start using a 70th level weapon at 44th level. Which is huge. Huge. And the main advantage to that is you can pump up your torment level. Your difficulty level at that point. And I was able to pump it up to torment 3. Giving me a whole bunch more experience for, uh, for playing and then I shot right up from 44 up to 70 pretty fast. All right, so now, now it's just a matter of trying to get the best gear that I can at the moment. Cool. And I got her a little thing here. Oh. Oh, that's mine. I thought that was hers. All right, so if I look at my resources, I want to try and get 70th level items in all of this. I've got blood shards. I've got a, some crafting materials, not a lot. Of course, I've got money. Probably an amulet is the thing I probably need first. I think you can craft them with him. If you want to do that, which I, I might, I might do that. I can also go down here to uh, Kadala. Anything could happen and get one, but it cost a hundred blood shards. Let me, uh, oops. I didn't want to do that. Alright, let me, uh, let me upgrade all those, and I'm gonna get rid of all those little gems, because those don't do, ah, don't do anything. Let's see what I got. I'm gonna even get one. Okay, I got one. That's, that's good. I think that'll get me my amulet, right? If I want to craft an amulet here. <coughs> I need a ruby.
this point, these become virtually worthless. Um, I do get, I do get, no, I don't get. <laughs> if you insist. this point in the game you don't get any more of these so you don't you can't combine them you can't do anything with any of this stuff at this point I was hoping to get one more of these and then that would give you my ruby but all right let's just get rid of them it doesn't matter all that much. a right good bunch of things for you this fine day all right So, okay. whole new stash of stuff. <coughs> Let's see if he's got a good amulet to buy. Probably not. Can't craft an amulet yet. Hey, sure, I may do business with some unsavory types, but I pass the savings on to you. Against my better judgment, I am going to I have some more things that I'm so First of all, you know what? Let me restart it. Get a new game going up. Sometimes resetting the whole game now that you've reached seventieth level uh, can uh, I think I'm gonna be at torment four. Sometimes being it. Resetting the game, once you hit that 70th level. Resets everything, and sometimes that makes a small difference. It shouldn't, because this is supposed to keep track and adjust as you play, but. Don't tell any. Look, 
I'm happy to sell to you, but you've got to promise not to tell anyone where you got these goods from, okay? Uh, it's not worth it yet. Best thing to do is to get items. Use the Enchantress. Change out some of the powers and abilities of them. I'm gonna hold off on. Well, let's see if I can. Let's see what I can do. This is my weakest item, I think, right there. But it's also the one that's the most difficult to. Uh, to get a new one of that ring that's pretty weak also can I craft a ring hmm Three hundred and thirty-seven blood shards. Let's say two hundred and thirty-seven if I want to save a hundred for this. That means I could craft ten other items. Nine, eight. All right. Let's start off with the bracers. Let's see. Let's see what happens. These braces are a little bit better, not much. A little bit. Let's try pants. Try another pair of pants. Do come back again. Those just aren't good at all. <laughs> Try a chest armor. Maybe you can find Ugh. a use for that someday. Okay, well, all right. <laughs> well, that's good. I'll do an amulet. I'm just gonna do it. Can't be. Oh, that will look nice on you. Al Russia. Better Should than the one I got, I guess. Diet? These old things are becoming so okay. small. <laughs> that was. These are both, they're green, but
Oh. I think I like mine better. All right, let's see what I can craft. Let's try it. Let's, I'll make a ring. I hate to use up my gems like this, but... That ring is pretty weak. There we go. Mm, not bad. That's not bad. Thank you. Forty-eight. I can craft a few items. Hey, Drake, but I want to save some components for changing out abilities. Let's try uh, They're all about the same. Let's just let's just try gloves. Let's go boots. Could do the sages. Could I do the sages? Do I have enough? <coughs> Maybe I should do that. Double the amount of death breath that drop. That's probably a good idea. I'd need to do all four. Oh no, I need to do three. Three times thirty, that would be ninety. Waist, feet, head, hands. Let's do the gloves. And then I'll gain double the death breath, I'll gain an extra 250 intelligence plus all of the other abilities as well. That's probably a good place to start. Not great, not bad. Let's do the boots. Not great, not bad. And uh, let's do the belt. <clears throat> let's see what she lets me switch out here. Three death breath. Mm. 
Mm. Try and get life. Armor. This one's probably the best one to start with. Critical <coughs> hit damage 48%. That's real nice. I do not want to do that. Right, let's try, let's try this one. Let's see if I can get that life. Life per second. Bale crystals, so I really can't really can't switch out anything else. Alright, but I got extra intelligence and I'll have double the death breath when they drop. Some got a right good bunch of things for you this fine day. What is your deepest wish? To serve my order valorously. Oh. You sound disappointed. My wish is to be incredibly wealthy and surrounded by beautiful women. Yours is simply lacking by comparison. And these are my gems, so we'll definitely want to have that in there. Try and switch out that reduced cooldown for a socket. Let me see if I can do that. I guess I'll put this one in there for now. Mm. 
All right, so now, as at this point in the game, my next major goal is to gain the first six-piece set, the one that's going to be given to me by Hadrig. And the way to get that is to complete the first four chapters of the season journey. I've got it on Torment 4 right now. If I get all six pieces, that should be able to bump me up to... Um, I'm going to say Torment 9, maybe 10, maybe even 11. Maybe even higher, because they did uh, increase the damage of the six-piece bonus to Hydra's. So, it might, might be able to get me up even higher. Alright, so... Chapter 1, you don't gain anything, but I just gotta kill Skeleton King's idea and 5 bonus. 5 bonus is easy. Chapter 2, fully equip one of my followers. That'll be easy. Queen Ariane, <coughs> Gom, Transmogrify. And then Chapter 3. Malthiel Isuel. Okay, so one of the things that I try and do is I try and kill two birds with one stone. So in order to gain the first four chapters, I've got to do all five bounties. Um, so I try to make sure I do bounties where I will also have to, let's say, kill Malthiel or kill Isuel. And then that way I kill two birds with one stone. Nephilim Rift, that'll be easy. And then these are the Key Wardens. Diablo Belial, 20 recipes. Okay, so Got to do all five bounties. Which bounty to start with? Sidia, Skeleton King. Queen, Ariane, gone. Malthiel, Isubel. Belial, Diablo. <coughs> so, Butcher is not one of them. Okay, kill. Okay, well, that's the Cursed Bellows. So, let's say I do Act 1 Bounty right now. This one has Kill Queen Ariane. Arane. Arane. I don't know how to pronounce it. I keep thinking of Ariana Grande, a singer. So if I just do this bounty right now, do all these, I'll be killing her at the same time anyways. Kill two birds with one stone for, what was it, Act 2? Yeah, for Act 2. So, might as well just do the Act 1 bounties right now. So let's, let's start with the Act 1 bounty. Huh. 
I didn't do nearly as much damage as what I was hoping I would. Took a lot longer than what I thought. So that could be bad. <clears throat> Might have to even tone down the... Uh, Difficulty level. I don't have enough arcane power. I guess that was not Walloon. I suppose I should choose some new skills. These these aren't all that great, I don't think.
go back to that one. <clears throat> Uh, let's start up a new recording. Hold on a second. Be right back. <laughs> <laughs> 